Hey and welcome to this tutorial. Booleans have a habit of creating a bunch of n-gons. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to achieve clean results with the boolean tool inside of Maya. We're going to be creating this hard surface object here. This sort of shape is easier to make with the boolean tool as a lot of the main forms are just primitive meshes subtracted from each other. Right, so the first thing we're going to want to do is create a cube. So I'm just going to draw out one on the grid, like so. And I think the next logical step is to create this large curve cut out here. Let's just go ahead and draw out a cylinder. And I'm just going to leave the subdivisions at 20. This cylinder needs to be positioned in place. I'll just rotate it and uh, whilst holding J you can snap. Just scale it into position, make it a little longer. I'm trying not to get too much of an angle on this edge here, probably something like this would be fine. Next, selecting the mesh you would like to keep first and then the cut in mesh second. Hold shift and the right mouse button, go down to booleans, difference. And we can just go ahead and delete history on that, so edit, delete by type, history. From this point you might be eager to immediately hop into the next stage of booleans, add in these holes here, which you totally could. But cleaning up the first stage of booleans now is going to make our lives much easier later on. So with the multi cut tool, which you can get to by holding shift and the right mouse button and then going over to the multi cut tool, holding control allows us to add an edge loop and the middle mouse button if you click that adds an edge loop dead in the center. We now have a good edge which we can use to delete one half of our mesh, which we definitely want to do as it's going to half our workload. So in face mode, just select half and delete it. Continuing with the multi cut tool, we can just start to connect up the edges, removing all the engons, just connect up the vertices, just use control to add in these edges here. Really shouldn't take too long. Right, so we have an engon here and an easy fix to this is just to add in another edge like so. Just move this edge up. And now we have a quad. Notice that when we hit free on the keyboard for smooth preview, our mesh collapses. This is also something we can fix before adding in the next booleans. And to do this, I'm just going to use the bevel tool. So going into edge mode, I'm just going to select all the edges that we want hard. So all of these outside edges. Hit control B for bevel and we're going to want to have two segments and also just reduce the fraction a little. And now when we hit free on the keyboard for smooth preview, our mesh holds up and looks good. Which means it's time for the next booleans. So let's just go ahead and create a new cylinder. This time I'm going to use eight subdivisions. Nice. Rotate it like so and just position it in place. Also like so. Note that I am positioning it a little bit more to the left. And the reason behind this is because this gap here is going to be doubled when we mirror our mesh. Right, so select our two meshes. Hold shift and the right mouse button, go down to booleans again, and difference. Okay, so right away we have a couple of existing edges which we need to connect up. So in vertex mode, hold shift and the right mouse button, go to merge verts, and then target weld tool. And then we can just weld these edges. You're just going to want to weld the points which feel logical. You also might have a slightly different result depending on where you positioned your cylinder. And I'm just going to tweak some of the flow just so it's all a little bit more balanced in the direction it needs to go. So now we've done all this, we just want to contain this detail for the best clean results. So what we can actually do is just extrude a little. Select these faces on the inside and press Ctrl E, which is for the extrude tool. And we just want to move it a little like so. 
And you can see what that's done is we now have an edge running around the outside of our circle containing the inner circle cutout. Next, because we pre-beveled everything before we did these booleans, we can just simply use the multi-cut tool to fix the end gons, as we already have all the supporting edges we need in place. I'm just going to slide this edge up a little so it's not quite as tight and close together. Remember to also do this on the back as well. Looking at it now in smooth preview mode, you might also just want to add a couple more edges supporting the inside here. One here and one round the back here. Before we go ahead and mirror, let's just delete history again. Edit, delete by type, history. To mirror now, uh, shift and the right mouse button and then go down to mirror. You might find you need to play around with the mirror axis depending on your orientation. But in my case, I just need to change the axis position to bound in box. And you can see we now have a pretty complex shape and it really didn't take us much time at all to do so. I think the main thing when using the boolean tool is to work in steps. Do a boolean, clean it up, and only then progress onto the next stages. This way you're always moving forwards with something that works, opposed to making more mess on top of an already messy topology. If you would like to check out the scene files and have a play around with the tools yourself, be sure to check out my Patreon where you'll find a whole bunch of digital downloads, including for this video. Although, I'm going to be going over the platforms I'm on in much more depth in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, if you did, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Wow.